Hi, I'm going to go over the Hurricane Motion Gizmo and hopefully um, help you in um, understanding how this teaches us about Hurricane Motion. So the prior knowledge questions, just kind of what you know so far, what you think about how meteorologists um, can predict a hurricane. So that's no, there's no right or wrong answers, what you know. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do the gizmo warm-up, okay? Now these paragraphs uh, before each question are really important because they help you answer the, <clears throat> the upcoming questions. So um, it's showing us that there's three weather stations, and we're going to make sure that all of these are checked. The show weather station data, wind, pressure, and cloud cover. And um, it says that these um, little tails are showing the wind. Um, so the wind speed, which is measured in, in knots. So um, a short line extending from the tail indicates five knots of wind. So this is a short line, and that represents five knots. A longer line indicates 10 knots. So that means... Um, the wind speed for this station is going to be 5 plus 10 or 15. This also is 15 and this one looks like it's 20 because they're both longer lines. If you see a triangular flag, so if I move this over here, am I going to be able to I know, okay. So if I see a triangular flag, that means it's already at 50 knots, okay? And then um, <clears throat> here, I would add these together. So 10, 20, 30, 40, that would be 40 knots. This one would be 50 plus 5, so 55 knots. So that's how you get the wind speed. The air pressure is going to be this number here. And then the cloud coverage is going to be um, using this little chart. So if, if it's all white, then it's clear. Um, and then here you can see how much cloud cover. This is an eighth of cloud coverage. Here it's a quarter, um, so you can follow that as well. If it's all if it's all covered black, then it's overcast. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and if you if we reset this, you're going to go ahead and use the information to fill in um, the wind speed and the wind. Um, direction, the cloud cover, and the pressure for, for station A. Oh, what happened to my little gizmo? Okay, there it is. Um, I'm not sure where it was. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Then you're going to go ahead and read um, a little bit about um, how hurricanes form and um, how they rotate. So interestingly, um, if you're in the northern hemisphere, then um, hurricanes spin in a counterclockwise direction. So kind of the opposite of a way a clock goes. And if you're in the southern hemisphere, then it spins in a clockwise direction. So you'll be able to answer the question, which hemisphere is this hurricane in, and how do you know? Um, then we're going to do show hurricane, make sure radar is selected. Okay, that's okay. And then we're going to um, look at the colors. So it tells you bl what blue indicates and yellow and orange and red. So you're going to go ahead and answer those questions. And then we're going to look at a hurricane with a satellite view. And here it tells you, um, it shows you cloud coverage. And so we can see, um, see that and answer the question, questions here. It says, um, what's larger, area of rainfall or area of cloud coverage? To me, it's not very clear what is rainfall and what is cloud coverage, but I would say that the 
correct answer is that the cloud coverage is larger. I mean, that makes sense, but I just am not able to really see where the distinction is in this satellite image of cloud versus rain. But you can answer B and C then. Where is it more dense in the center of the hurricane or uh, on the outer edges, and where is it less dense? Okay, and then here it's talking about the eye of a hurricane. And go ahead and label the eye of the hurricane um, in this picture. Okay, number five, it's talking about wind speeds and how, based on the wind speed, um, we categorize hurricanes. So category one through category five. Um, so here is, um, it's asking us, let's see, do we have to change anything? It's asking us to go ahead and move uh, one of the hurricanes directly over a wind station. Okay, so when we move it over here, ooh, okay, we can see, um, we can see the top wind speed. Okay, and remember for wind speed, we want to add up the, um, the little flag the little flag notches. So here I've got two triangles and a short line. So you can add those up, figure out how many knots that is, and then uh, we need to figure out how much, how many, um, how much that is in miles per hour. So you would take those knots and you would divide it by 1.15. And that will give you miles per hour. Oh, you would multiply it by 1.15. So multiply that by 1.15. That will give you uh, wind speed in miles per hour. And then you can see uh, what category it is. OK. And then let's go ahead and move it around and see what's happening to um, the wind speed, the air pressure, and the cloud coverage. So. If I move it to, if I move it to station A, you can definitely see that the wind speed is doing something. Okay, so you're going to tell me if, it's, if the wind speed is increasing or decreasing. You're going to tell me whether the cloud coverage. So see this little, this little circle icon. That's going to tell me the cloud coverage. What's happening to the cloud coverage as I move over the station and Let's look at the air pressure. So here the air pressure is 1,022. Look at what's happening to the air pressure as we go over it, okay? Interesting, right? Okay, and same thing right here, 1,018. Let's move over it. Hmm, okay. So you can see what's happening to the air pressure. Um, number seven is asking um, what is happening to the wind direction. So if I, um, if I put the hurricane north of the weather station, so here's my little um, compass showing north is up and south is down, east and west. So if I put the hurricane north of station six, look at what's happening to the wind direction. So the wind direction is actually um, coming uh, to the west. And so you'll, you'll go ahead and put west. And as you move the hurricane to different positions, east, south, and west of a station, you're going to go ahead and uh, record what the position of the wind at the weather station is. So, yes. So... Here it's blowing west, but when the, if you move the hurricane in different positions, it's going to be blowing in different directions. So now, based on this information, you should be able to answer number eight. How can you tell the location of a hurricane re relative to weather, a weather station? So if you're at a weather station, you don't see a hurricane yet. What are some changes you'll see that are happening to the cloud coverage, the wind speed, and the air pressure? as a hurricane starts approaching. Okay, now we're gonna go into activity B, 
where you're going to predict the location and path of a hurricane. So we're going to go over to experiment and we're going to um, click pause. Okay, oh, here comes our little hurricane. And you're going to uh, click play and wait till we see the hurricane approaching one of the um, weather station. So we're going to watch it go. And you should be able to see what's happening to the cloud coverage, the air pressure, and the wind speed. Okay, so here it's coming up on station A. What's happening to the wind speed? Okay, look at those little flags. What's happening to the cloud coverage? And what's happening to the air pressure? Okay, and then we're going to see what happens if it goes over land. Oh, What's happening as it goes over land? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, and then, let's see, we're going to click reset. Where's reset? Here. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and turn off the show hurricane so we can't see the hurricane. And we're going to go ahead and push play until it gets to day one, 3 p.m. Okay, so a hurricane is coming. We can't see it, but we have all our weather station data. So I'm going to pause it at three. There we go. Close enough. Okay, and I want to. I want you to go ahead and record the wind speed, what direction the wind is coming from, the cloud coverage, and the pressure from each of these stations, and do we think a hurricane is nearby? Why or why not? And then we're going to go ahead and allow the gizmo to run until the weather station uh, data indicates a hurricane is nearby and will make landfall. Okay, and you're going to see which one, which which weather station indicated that the hurricane is going to get to land. Okay, and then and then you can turn it on. So after you kind of play and you figure out, oh oh, I think one is almost there. Okay. Hmm, maybe, okay. Then you can show it. Ah, maybe I was right. Okay. Um, okay, then you're going to turn off show hurricane, reset, play, and then at 12 p.m., you're going to go ahead and um, follow these directions. Okay, so you're going to predict, and then you're going to show it and mark a circle where it is. Um, if for some reason you're not able to mark on this paper, you can go ahead and do it. You can take a screenshot so you can, um, are we able to do something like this? Hmm. I think you might have to try and draw it on here or worst case scenario, you could just explain it. Um, yeah, collect that. Okay. Drag an arrow. Okay, so you can go to tools and drag an arrow. Ah, here we go. There we go. And then you can once, and then you're going to go ahead and do a screenshot. And then once you've got your screenshot, you can, you can paste it. Paste it or you can submit it separately. Hmm. Click right image to copy. Ah, okay. And paste. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is my answer right here. All right, sorry, that was kind of long and rambly. I, you can tell I'm doing this for the first time, and I hope it was helpful. But if you need more help, please reach out or come to my office hours.